Hi, Colin. Hi, Mrs. Nelson. Hi, Mrs. Nelson's class. Um, obviously, I'm Colin's mom. And I had a couple different ones I wanted to, books I wanted to share today, but I can only pick one. And this was one that Colin and I used to love to read together. And now he reads it to me when he's been reading it to me for several years now. But hopefully, not too many of you have read this book. What the Dinosaurs Did Last Night. To whom it may concern, that means you. You've probably heard stories about toys coming to life when no one's watching. Maybe you don't believe in that stuff, but if you're reading this, it means weird things might have already started happening in your house. It usually starts with a mess you can't explain. Your parents will think you did it. You might try to blame the dog, but it wasn't the dog. It was dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are always hungry. That means the kitchen is the first place they'll go. They'll lick all the lunch meat, chew up the cheesy puffs, and slobber in the salsa. If the dinosaurs find your toys, they'll want to play. Next thing you know, they've toppled your block towers, unstuffed your sock monkeys, and trashed your checkers. Your parents probably don't let you play in the bathroom, but dinosaurs aren't very good at following the rules. The worst is when they get into your parents' stuff. Nothing is safe with dinosaurs around. Whatever you do, keep them out of the laundry rooms. Dinosaurs are dry, clean only. Dinosaurs get into the most trouble while you sleep. That scratching sound you hear late at night? It isn't a three-eyed monster or a bunch of clumsy bats. The dinosaurs are up in the attic, trying on your mom's doll clothes and getting into your dad's old comics. Don't get too worried, they aren't all bad. Most people don't know this, but some dinosaurs dabble in drawing or play Picasso with paint. Sometimes they go too far. Pretty soon, you'll probably want to stop them. Everybody does. Maybe you'll tie them up with a jump rope or lock them in a closet. When that doesn't work, you'll keep trying. Don't bother, the dinosaurs can get out of anything. Anything. The dinosaurs will cause more and more trouble until they finally make a mess so big and so messy, you won't even be able to believe it. Then one day, you'll wake up and your house will be clean. No broken dishes, no spilled milk, no marks on the walls. A few days will pass, then a few weeks. You'll wonder if the dinosaurs will ever come out again. You might even question whether they were ever really alive to begin with, or if you made the whole thing up. Don't be fooled. That's exactly what they want you to think. See you later, dinos. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and um, hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye, guys.